And here in Seoul, the presidential office is busy working on its upcoming summit with North Korean leader Kim Jong Un. With just over two more weeks to go, President Moon Jae in sat down with the preparation committee on Wednesday, directing them to make sure his summit with Kim Jong Un goes smoothly. He also wants everything just right, so it paves a way for a successful meeting between President Trump and the North Korean leader. Our Hwang Ho Jun tells us more. The South Korean president is determined to dot the I's and cross the T's for the upcoming inter-Korean summit. During Wednesday's meeting of the Interagency Preparation Committee, President Moon Jae-in called for the formation of a comprehensive situation room so that all government agencies can check daily on their readiness up until April 27th. The meeting took place at the Blue House and was chaired by the president himself. It was the fifth meeting of its kind since Seoul and Pyongyang reached an agreement to hold a summit early last month. President Moon emphasized that the summit could change the course of the nation's history, and therefore preparations must be made with much effort and determination. But he also insisted on prudence. 한 번에 모든 문제를 다 해결하겠다는 지나친 의욕으로 접근하기보다는 이번 남북 정상회담을 계기로 오랜 기간 단절되었던 남북 관계를 복원하고 평화와 번영의 한반도로 나아가는. He also underscored that the April summit could lead to the first ever summit between leaders of the U.S. and North Korea, which in itself would be historic. And with both the U.S. and North Korea actively preparing for that, President Moon said he expects the Washington Pyongyang summit will be a giant step toward denuclearization and lasting peace. The goal is to make the North Korean summit. 북미 정상회담의 성공으로 이어지는 좋은 길잡이 역할을 할수 있도록 준비해 나가야 할 것입니다. President Moon called for the joint success of the two summits, and to ensure that they are held in smooth succession, the South Korean leader ordered related agencies, including the Foreign Affairs Ministry and Seoul's National Security Office, to exchange information, closely communicate, and collaborate with Washington. Hwang Wo-jun, Arirang News.